Listen, because the media is out. How come they can report about the violence outside when they're in here with me? Is that what's happening? How I don't depend on Libyan TV. I spoke to Libyans who called me. They have nothing to do with politics. There's, there's been panic. There's been some defections. And there's been massive, atrocious, criminal bombings. Very bad. I'm, I didn't sleep the other night because the bombings did not stop. How is it tonight? Actually, yeah. Okay. Are they still bombing? They bombed a bit. They bombed a bit, think, but not yeah. as much. I think NATO's directly so involved. I, I heard that somebody told me the Transitional Council. This is somebody who's a foreigner. He was reading the Transitional Council itself in Benghazi and said NATO is involved with the operations. I don't, I don't so good, what is NATO lying about the, when it says they're not directing the these operations? You're ready to leave now. You're, you're ready to get out. I'm confined in a, in, a, in a place I can't move. If I could have moved, it would have been a different story. I'll be dead honest with you. I was put in a position where I'm confined. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I would have moved on my own. I would have left on my own terms. I've been here for two months. And I don't want to leave like a coward at all. Because when I leave, these people, they're going to face the nightmare. They'll face the nightmare. And I feel like a coward for leaving these people here who are going to live in fear. There's going to be, um, there's going to be gangs, just like in Benghazi. They're going to kill each other. For what? NATO wants them to kill each other. I feel very bad that Libyans are killing Libyans. And there's, they're not all Libyans either. You know, there's a lot of people who came here because they're from other Arab countries because they thought it's an authentic revolution. Some came because they, cause they uh, uh, misconstrued religious views. Oh, also, some just got paid for it, just for money. Of course. No, of course. And uh, there's, believe me, some did get paid for it. Who's suffering? These innocent people, these children. You know, I spoke to, I've spoken, spoken to them. Like, I've seen, like, okay. traumatized so children. Anyway, I'm, I'm in touch. A man so whose wife's touch. leg was amputated. Was people who talk about rape, beheading. Come on. This is... The real international communities, people like me, people like you, people like these pe people, not few governments who act unaccountably. And they they do act unaccountably. And the NATO itself is a means uh, to escape democracy. I don't believe we live in any real democracy, but it's only there because it's unaccountable. Because when Obama kills people, or Sarkozy, or Cameron, they say it's NATO. They won't be held accountable. There's no constituency that can no uh, stop them. They just no say idea. it's NATO. Na this NATO area, did this. NATO has to go so to, I has to be taken. NATO has to be taken to. You know, in, in a way, it, it's been doing this for 10 years already, but somehow in Libya it's worse because it's closer to Europe and we feel for the people more. It's, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, but the, the thing about Libya is it's a far more important war. The world powers and rivalries Sorry. now are getting less flexible than they were. They were far more flexible okay, before, but now there's more, more chips on the now. table. There's an incredible financial uh, 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 financial objectives at, at risk. There's a lot of uh, financial. Um, what is it? I'm sorry, I'm at a loss for words, but it's also the Ukraine. Arab Spring, you know. It also from from Libya they can go to Algeria and Egypt. Uh, it's no Arab Spring. The, 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 take, a, take a look of, at every single member of the Geneva uh, uh, Human Rights Organizations. Go see who sits on their boards. Okay. When you find out who sits on their boards, you're going to see which character, these, these characters, who they are. They're warmongers. They're, allergies, uh, they're, they're really uh, not good. And especially all the organizations, Libyan organizations involved here. Al Jazeera was on their board or, or the Muslim Brotherhood. And I'm not saying everyone in the Muslim Brotherhood is bad, but I'm saying the leadership has been co-opted for sure. You know, and uh, and uh, it, it's it's it, it's a fraud. This war was a fraud. It's a real full. They're all media wars. This was really the media tip tip, and they're doing this to Syria. So what's happened is you you are you are confined there. Yeah, we're confined because there's snipers. Uh, there, we, we have to be safe, right? And do you we think there's much safe? Libyan military? Because I've been told they're all hiding. Like you, you don't actually see them. They could, they could be. That could be one of their tactics. You know, uh, 
hide and fight later. I don't know. I don't have but there's volunteers fighting. Either. There's tribesmen fighting. There's kids fighting. The checkpoints are mostly manned by civilians, some by military, uh, and some by militia and police. But what can you do when, there's, when, an Apache, it's when an Apache helicopter comes by, what can you do? I mean, you can't do they, anything. The Apaches have been attacking the checkpoints. This is the irony. Those checkpoints were meant for security, not for killing civilians. It's very clear. That's what the checkpoint's there. It's not moving around killing people. It could be stopping some mobility, but... It hasn't. I've seen, I've go through the checkpoints, but those checkpoints are there for security. And they, NATO bombs, bombs and attacks the checkpoints with their helicopters. The gunships were in Tajura for the last couple of days. They've been attacking. And I'm, I have to tell the Russians, the Chinese, the Iranians, uh, the Algerians, uh, you know, uh, several former Soviet republics, they have to, they cannot let this continue. They are moving east. Believe me, they are moving east. What's happening in Syria is identical to what has happened in Libya. Yeah. You know, there's some talk that yeah. maybe maybe some NATO troops are even coming ashore. Do you think that's possible? In reality, they are ashore. These are their proxies, but they have special forces. They've been spotted. There's NATO special forces and advisors. What do you call them? They're soldiers. What are they? And they have mercenaries. Even they use, they use things like Blackwater. I don't know if Blackwater is here on the ground, but I'm saying they use security firms, which are mercenaries. That's the irony. They say Libya could not use mercenaries, right? Gaddafi was using mercenaries to kill his own people. When they use mercenaries all around the world, the United States is the biggest contractor of mercenaries in the world. What do the British do? What do they do in Iraq and Afghanistan? What do the Americans do? They use mercenaries. Believe me. You know, they say Gaddafi's a madman. Gaddafi has to go. Okay, maybe you're right, for argument's sake. Okay, well, what about the king of Saudi Arabia? What about the al Khalifas? What about, uh, you know, the, 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 the petrol monarchs in the Persian Gulf? Yeah, they've been there for 40 years as well. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it, my friend. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, each one of us tries to make a better world in, in our own uh, way. I tried my best, you know. Uh, maybe my number's up, maybe it's not, but uh, no. I hope uh, other people there believe me, because I didn't come here to make a buck, I didn't come here to make a name. I came here because uh, I didn't want innocent people to be killed. And it's very important to understand that this war in Libya is part of a broader front. It's part of the war in Afghanistan, part of the war in Pakistan, part of the war in Iraq. It's part of the Palestinian front. It's part of the pressure in Lebanon. It's part of what's happening to Syria. It's part of what happened in Chechnya and Dagestan to the Russian Federation. It's what happened in Tibet in Western China. It's, a, it's part of the coup d'etat against President Chavez and the Venezuelan government. It's part of the pressure, the terrible pressure against the Cuban government. You know, this prevented Cuba from developing. It's, 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 part, of the, it's part of what's happening in Somalia, you know. And I have to warn people, the human rights organizations, please take a good look at them. See who they serve. See who they work for, see where their funding's from. Because believe me, they can lie and they work for governments. You know, these human rights organizations and, and, and such, you know, in Africa, look what they've done to this, they're doing to this continent. Like, there's been famine because of this war in other parts of Africa, because this country financed agricultural projects or was behind the development. They don't care, it's just killers. Modern. No, no, they don't care. Last, I'm last, sorry, Last favor to ask you. Uh, uh, can you yes. can you show us around the area again? I I, I kind of lost it before. Yes, I will. A lot of the people left in here. This is the mosque. What they've got outside? No, they're just at the door. These are the pastries I brought up. There you go. Yeah, that's great. That's really good. There you go. Thanks a million. I hope you get some sleep, and I'd love to talk to you tomorrow. Okay. I heard Frank Lamb was shot in the leg. That's correct. I hope he's safe. He is. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.